uh, in 2017, uh, there were 200 terrorists killed in the Valley of Kashmir. And out of those 200 terrorists, 70% uh, were not Kashmiris. They were Pakistani nationals uh, who came to Kashmir for fight, uh, to fight. Um, just recently, you had, uh, last month, you had a dozen terrorists killed in the valley only. Um, so, main issue of, of introducing terrorism into Kashmir by the Pakistani state, by the Pakistani military, by the Pakistani intelligence agencies, and then keeping it to the valley of Kashmir only, was to arouse the Muslim religious sentiments of the people living over there. Because you have a bigger region which is Kashmir. There was no terrorism there. There is, there, there is no terrorism in Ladakh, because most of the people are Buddhist. So there is not a uniting, unifying force. Religion, of course, can be a very uniting and a unifying force. Um, which, in turn, turned the issue into a very religious issue. And religious issues um, don't work well. Uh, it's um, when you have a political issue and you keep it politically and your struggle is political, uh, you can get to some, some solution. Uh, religious issues are very difficult uh, to solve. Okay, this is Ayman al-Zawiri, the current leader of Al-Qaeda. After the death of bin Laden, uh, we get this big statement and you have a poem. And he mentions in this poem all sorts of the areas where Al-Qaeda have picked up the gun. And where Bin Laden and his comrades were in struggle. And the very first conflict mentioned is Kashmir. So what I draw your attention to, I mentioned Huntington early in the Clash of Civilizations thesis, this isn't a conflict between East and West, this isn't a conflict between Muslim and Christian, this is a conflict within Kashmir, uh, between, if you like, India and Pakistan, or, between, or involving the peoples of Kashmir.